It's time for more Uncut XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Before we start the action for today, we're going to get introduced to a new soldier that was provided by Ronin the Ronin. Arthur Boss has always had an overwhelming desire to help people. From a young age, he would thrust himself into danger if it meant keeping someone else from getting hurt. However, despite his instinct to protect, he also had a love for guns. From ages 6 to 14, his parents helped him grow a very respectable Nerf and Airsoft collection. Unfortunately, those toys would do no good against the alien invasion. Several years later, Arthur found himself living in a resistance haven that would eventually be attacked by Advent peacekeepers. During the attack, Advent's overwhelming numbers forced the armed resistance personnel and the few XCOM operatives that were stationed at the haven to retreat. While taking cover, Arthur saw an opportunity to help. There was a fully loaded shotgun by the corpse of a dead resistance member. Arthur raced for the gun and proceeded to ambush the Advent soldiers as they hunted for XCOM and the resistance members. After the attack was over, the operatives asked Arthur if he would like to continue fighting the aliens and he said, of course, I'd love to help, without any hesitation. Before we jump into the fighting, we've been introduced to a new gameplay mechanic and a new interface. The Chosen have different actions that are similar to Dark Events, and currently the Assassin is working on Retribution, a brutal crackdown on the Resistance permanently lowering XCOM's income. That doesn't sound good. She's messing with our money, and we've got to put a stop to that. Next up, dark events are starting to appear, and because we're playing with the permanent dark events option turned on, we have to be very particular about which events we stop, and we also have to expand our reach in the resistance around the globe as quickly as possible. The more territories we have access to, the more guerrilla ops missions will pop up, and the more choice we'll have in which events we'll put a stop to. The next feature is incredibly fascinating and it's similar to the guerrilla tactics that you unlock in the Avenger base. Each faction gives you access to cards that you can swap around at the end of each month and these cards give you special passive benefits. Depending on your reputation with the different factions, you can equip more cards. Last but certainly not least, we've gained access to covert actions. And these are essentially passive missions that you can send your soldiers on that lead to active missions that you send more soldiers on. And it's really, really cool, man. The War of the Chosen expansion is opening up so many different options. So right now, we are attempting the covert action to find out where they are hiding Mox, the skirmisher that was assisting us in the first War of the Chosen story mission, where we were battling against the not zombies and the chosen assassin. So we sent two soldiers on that covert mission, they found where they were hiding Mox, and now we have to go rescue him. But before we do that, there's been a new piece added to the tactical gameplay. The sit rep system adds special bonus attributes to whatever mission you're going on. The current attribute that's been added to this mission is called Shadow Squad. All of our soldiers gain access to one charge of concealment, which means we're going to have a very easy time sneaking around. If we do happen to get revealed, we can just go right back into concealment. Okay, we are only allowed to bring three soldiers on this mission, so I have brought a ranger, Dragonova the Reaper, and a specialist named Myra Two-Faced Wyra, and she was provided by Maya Yoho, but we'll get introduced to her a little bit later down the line. So, there's not too much to talk about. We got grenades, we got guns, and we're ready to break somebody out of prison. Let's do this. It took some work, but we now have a positive confirmation that our captive soldier is being held in a high-security Advent detention center in this region. If we're going to pull a rescue off, our best approach is to go in quietly without alerting the massive number of security forces defending that installation. The latest intel has our operative being held in the main structure just ahead. We have the advantage of stealth here, so we should try to get in and out as quietly as possible. If the enemy spots us, this is going to get a whole lot harder. Okay, Central Officer Bradford seems intent on us not fighting in this mission, so we're going to try our best to sneak all the way to the objective. We have a decent amount of distance to traverse to get to Praetal Mox, but we should be able to do it, especially because we have a Reaper with us and her detection radius is very small. 
And there is a turret. We definitely don't want to fight with that. It's got six points of health and three points of armor. And our specialist does not yet have access to combat protocol. So we're going to we're gonna be very conservative about how we approach this. But since we're here on a, on, a, on a very unique mission, the squad composition that I picked does have some relevance to it. There was a reason for my selection of soldiers. The Reaper is going to be our first into the fight. She's going to be scouting out the area for us, making sure that there are no patrols nearby. The specialist is going to hack open the prison cell because and anything that you can hack into that you have to open, if you have a higher hack rating, there's a chance you get bonuses from it. And finally, the ranger, you got to have a shotgun when you're breaking somebody out of prison, right? That, that just seems like the natural thing to have with you. Now, with all of that said, this isn't an actual timer in the top right corner. It is the security level, so I'm assuming that is going to determine how many enemies are nearby the objective. So for now, we're not really seeing any enemy presence, so we're just kind of moving along quietly. But I got to be honest, this is this is actually a little bit nerve-wracking. <laughs> I feel like at any moment just something could go wrong. Oh gosh. Because XCOM's mechanics have never been fully capable of, of, of stealth, right? It's, it's always been kind of a secondary thing to have the concealment mechanic, and it, it mostly plays into the ambushing feature of the game, the Overwatch ambush, where if, if you get the jump on a pod, you get a pretty big advantage over them. But when, when you're actually trying to, to sneak to an objective, it... In a lot of cases, it, it can backfire on you. I've, I've had many sneaky moments where, where I would try to get right next to an objective, and then I would end up surrounded by a group of enemies. So I, I wonder how that's going to play out with this. So far, we have not seen a single patrol, which means they are most likely somewhere smoking crack or a little bit of that ganja. All right, the, 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 the Advent soldiers, they like to do a lot of drugs. So what we're going to do now is we are going to advance Dragonova right in front of the door. All right. And we still don't have eyes on any Advent soldiers. So what we're going to do is just hunker down right here. And then we're going to move our specialist up a little bit closer. Is it weird that I'm starting to whisper the closer that I get to the objective? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. All right, this is a little bit ridiculous, though. All right, let's 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 open the prison cell, man. Let's get let's get this. Bo wait, 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 wait. What am I thinking? I can. OK, it's going to take a little longer than I expected. I am at your service. Their clumsy patrol is moving. Oh, they're moving away. OK, it looks like the lunch break is over for those two admins over there. So here's here's what we do now. We've got Dragonova in position to grab Mox, and we've got our specialist ready to open the door. So we open the door. Let's let's go inside. Boom. Let's see what we can get. Maybe there's a, a special bonus that we can have. Bypass the door lock. Unlock this door without triggering security protocols or Avenger scanning times reduced by 50% for four weeks. I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen if I trigger the security protocols, right? How bad could it be if the security protocol goes off? Bang. Avenger scanning times reduced by 50% for four weeks. We got it. I'll take it. So we're going to have to contend with the security protocols. I don't know exactly what that means. Firebrand is in position and the compound is on full alert. Time to move. Now, ho hold on a second. <laughs> Why would Firebrand want to put the evac zone next to a turret? Get out of here, Central Officer Bradford. You done lost your mind. We're calling the Sky Ranger in a different spot. Okay. Holy crap. There we go. Uh, but now we have to actually get to the door. Outrider is no longer in shadow mode, but I assume that I can get back into it as soon as I pick up Mox. So that's what we're going to do. Now go in here. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> this was too easy. I'm here. This was like taking alien candy from a baby. We're on our way out. Getting out of here. Look at that. Game over. <laughs> Alright, so that was obviously significantly simpler than 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 I expected. And I guess we, we brought the selfie stick with us, so let, let's take a picture. We got the, the, the Charlie's Angels over here. We got the three ladies on this mission. Okay, there we go. That's that's freaking priceless right there. The ladies do it better poster. <laughs> that's what it's all about. Advent needs your help in locating the fugitives who escaped custody earlier today. Remember... Failure to recognize and report could be seen as collaboration. And there we go. This was a really short mission, but it was packed with a lot of information. But fear not, there's going to be plenty more in the future. We've got a very long way to go before we beat the Chosen. We've only met one Chosen. We've still got to meet a whole nother faction. There's plenty more XCOM to come, so stay tuned for that. As always, the name of the game, it's XCOM 2 War The Chosen. I literally just said it two seconds ago. The name of the channel is iBlueAir, JGR Gaming for Comedy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you'd like to have a soldier added to the playthrough. Head to the description for more information about how you can do that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.